Check out this uh, video on TikTok that I found. Uh, it's about two minutes and 40 seconds long of two flight attendants trying to deal with this lady and trying to get her to simply sit down. Check it out. I'm gonna come back and talk about some de-escalation uh, concepts, tips, and techniques, uh, and how this thing could have probably been handled a little bit differently. Check it out. Yes. I don't tolerate this. If you don't sit down, we're gonna land the plane. You're gonna go in handcuffs. Let's do it. Sit down. Jesus. Now. She said, sit down. She's Folks, when you're dealing with someone, in, like in this case, who is most likely highly intoxicated, raising your voice and yelling at them is not going to get them to likely do what you want them to do. Folks, whenever you let yourself become so frustrated and impatient or offended by someone, all you've done is increase the likelihood that you're going to end up saying or doing something that could escalate it. And I got to tell you, I think they are very, very fortunate that them yelling at her with elevated tone of voice and all that did not get her sparked off and loud, rude, and obnoxious too, like some of these other videos we've seen of uh, loud and angry and drunk uh, passengers. Take a long, slow, deep breath. Slow down and assess the situation and the person before you. If you realize that they're intoxicated or drunk or have some type of mental or cognitive challenge or disability that would keep them from properly understanding you and being compliant, you are just gonna to have to take a moment and be patient. Yes, is there some urgency? Like in this case, we gotta land the airplane and we need everyone sitting down, secured and so on, yes. But I'm telling you from years of experience with dealing with intoxicated people and drunk drivers, you getting loud and impatient and yelling at them is not going to hurry things along. Take a slow deep breath and just stay calm and be patient with them. Now check out the last 40 seconds of this video. Okay, so we finally get her to sit down. That flight attendant should disengage and walk away. But no, for some reason he feels and is allowing himself to get sucked down this rabbit hole where he stays engaged with her and he's trying to insist and get her to understand and see how much he has tried to do for her when he should just let it go. She's not getting it. She's not going to be able to get it. She's drunk. Once you get someone finally to comply with your instructions, in this case, someone to sit down and get their seatbelt on, go away, leave them alone. 
go take your positions and get ready for the landing. Disengage some from someone like that. Recognize that it's time to break contact and go away. Don't let yourself get sucked into a situation where you stay in contact and all it's going to do is upset you, frustrate you, make you impatient and just jack you up to the point where you end up again saying you're doing something that could escalate it. Again, I think these this this these airline uh, flight attendants were very very lucky that she did not kick off because contrary to I guess there's a myth out there that that drunks are going to usually be loud, drunk and obnoxious and you know that's not true. I know a guy who when he has a I think it's a white Russian he becomes a mean drunk, but when he has a black Russian, he actually becomes very subdued, very quiet, almost weepy. Alcohol hits, hits people very differently, as you probably know. So take a moment, slow down when you're dealing with someone like this and assess the situation. Are they drunk? Are they, do they have a mental cognitive disability? The bottom line is the common tactic and, uh, and tip and technique is stay calm and use a calm tone of voice. We'll see you on the next video.